We're standing here again with uh, Alan Warren and talking about his soybean crop this year that he had. And we've got a couple of the plants that are in hand right here right now and uh, you can notice the root system on these things and how thick the pods are uh, on the plants and everything and uh, Alan uh, did you treat your soybeans this time? I sprayed them one time with eight ounces um, I didn't find out the, the beans were about six inches tall I guess or better when I found out about stuff mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I sprayed them I guess they were between ankle and knee high mm -hmm. well, they were about so tall when I sprayed them. Right. And uh, I plant my beans in 15 inch rows. And it didn't take long, they had the whole ground right there. Um, they canopied out. They, they canopied and, and they grew good and flat and they, they had a good growth. And it, with roots like that, you, you can't help but grow. Right. Um, and it, I want to make note that that is not an end hill. That hill came from the field. Um, <laughs> A lot of people would look at a plant like that and say, well, that one was sitting out by itself in the end, but, but that, that plant was in the field. Also, uh, seeding rate, I was planting about um, 74 pounds per acre. My extension agent says that's too much. He says 50 to 60 pounds is a gracious plant. Right. And I was planting my beans on the thick side. There again, you know, uh, you can plant them on the heavy side and get that kind of growth on a plant. You know, that's just... That adds up to some beans. Well, I just pulled this up out of the field. I just this is just a random plant that I pulled up out of the field. There, look at the root mass system on that. It, it, this does a lot of things for the plant. You know, during a dry year, you've got the root system there to help feed this plant to, to sustain it. And also, the stalk on it is, is as big as my thumb. You're gonna have standability here. Oh yeah. Where the beans won't get down. Yeah, we had a uh, last year. We had a. I mean, last week we had a northeaster come in, uh, and it blew 40 miles an hour for a day solid day just about and uh, all my beans are standing up straight um, they're not there's not they're not blown over they're not even blown over lint they're, they're all up straight I noticed here's the we're the 20th of November here and we've walked out in your soybeans and I've noticed that there are very few pods that are that have broke open on there and shattered open and, and to, to let the beans out there are very few pods uh, throughout yeah and if you notice the clusters it's just uh, like Freddie was saying earlier the, the, those clusters just just make that adds up some beans. Yeah, most of your most of your beans are, are, are four or five inches apart on the stalk, and these are like you know like every three two or three inches you've got a cluster of beans on the stalk there. Yeah, and it's not just one bean pod. It's it's I mean, there's three together. There's there's probably ten together. Ten, ten to twelve <laughs> together right there. And it's just um, right on up to the top. Yeah, it, right it's, it's loaded top. with pods from top to bottom. Uh, that's what makes beans. And ex exactly, and uh, right, right, like you said, right down to the bottom of the stalk. Um, just makes it, it makes for a good, manageable crop. Uh, a healthy plant is easy to manage. For and for the eight seventy five an acre investment, it's a pretty good return on your money, isn't it? I'd say so. Um, the extension agent came out <coughs> earlier when they were drying up, and. Uh, Extension agents are very, very conservative in my opinion. They're not going to stick their neck out. And he, I hadn't picked any yet, so, but he said a few weeks ago that shouldn't have any trouble pushing 50 bushels. So if he said that, I'm expecting well above that. Right, um, exactly. We'll see. We'll see, but I, I've, I've got high hopes. I think they'll do real well. Very good. They look very good. I'm going to spray them next year earlier and more often. Um, I know I'll spray my beans at least twice next year, right. uh, if not three times, because I'll probably incorporate the the um, soap with the uh, glyphosate with the Roundup, right? Uh, because we are having some resistant weeds in this area, and uh, I think that'll make it work better. Maybe will too. And not only are you doing a better job killing your weeds, but you're enhancing your, your plant growth. Absolutely, absolutely.